Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Simon from Scar Illustration and uh, I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to talk about creating art to send to a specific company that you'd like to work with. Let's dive in. So with this painting there's a bit of a backstory and uh, I'm going to date myself here. But uh, back in the 90s I had some interest from a few companies and one of which was Wizards of the Coast. I met with one of their then ADs at a comic convention and after looking at my portfolio requested that I create some more samples and then send those in. Once home I immediately started creating some more samples as I really wanted to start working with them. But at the time I was struggling financially and so I took a job with a local publisher as an in-house illustrator. Being young and naive, I figured I could put creating samples on hold and get back to them later, but I let this chance slip by. And ever since then, I've regretted that decision. Fast forward to around 2015, and the hankering to create work for Magic the Gathering hadn't gone away. If anything, it had only intensified. So I sent in a few paintings that I thought they might be interested in. The problem was that I didn't really do enough research on the type of work they were commissioning at the time. And unsurprisingly, the work was all rejected. And I thought that maybe I just wasn't cut out to be a magic artist and that that ship had sailed. So I continued on my quest to become a book cover artist, which I've been moderately successful at. But late last year, I was on the Muddy Colors blog and happened across an article by Wiley Beckert entitled Creating a Targeted Illustration Sample, where she breaks down how to do just that. The article was well written, insightful, helpful, and I would definitely recommend reading it if you get the chance. After reading the article, and with some encouragement from my peers, I decided that I would start creating some new paintings that were specifically targeted for some of the companies I would like to work for, which includes Wizards. And this painting is the first of those targeted illustrations. The first thing I did, which was also recommended in Wiley's article, was to compare how some of my current work stacks up against recent Magic Card illustrations. Luckily for me, my work and choice of subject matter tends to be in a similar vein. Although stylistically, there would need to be some adjustments, such as making sure that the focal point was an easy read at a small size. As well as that, most of my work is in a vertical format, which works great for book covers but this new painting would need to be in a horizontal format to match the space requirements for magic cards. The second thing was to come up with a sample prompt for the mock commission. I have plenty of experience working with book publishers commissions, but as I haven't worked with Wizards of the Coast, I decided to look online to see what I could find. And lo and behold, about 30 minutes later, I had not one, but a number of sample card assignments that I could work from. After rereading all of the samples, I decided to go with something relatively simple and familiar so as to make things a bit easier to start. Here's the sample illustration I went with. Color, black spell, location, shadowy woods, action, male humanoid figure covered in leather armor with some metal wearing a large hooded cloak the hood is on and covering his face his gear should be typical assassin but instead of small weapons he should have a large sheathed sword the view viewpoint should be first person as if you felt like something was watching you and turned to see this figure focus the figure 
mood, menacing, and hostile. As you'll see, I decided to deviate somewhat from the description, but all the main points are all there. The next stage is pretty much how I approach any of my work. I created some rough thumbnails, and from there distilled down to the strongest ideas and then created some color roughs from those. I spent a fair amount of time analyzing how other artists had framed similar characters and kept that top of mind when I chose the final idea that I went with. I also grabbed a sample card online and placed each of the color roughs into the space allotted for the illustration to check which one was going to work the best. Paying close attention to crisp silhouettes design and filling the frame with the most important aspect of the picture. After that, I collected reference materials and also took my own reference photos for the character with a general idea of the lighting needed. This usually tends to be somewhat time consuming, but in my experience it's definitely worth it. There's nothing worse than having to stop and look for reference halfway through a painting, as that tends to break the momentum and so I like to avoid doing that if at all possible. Once I had gathered all the info I needed, I then created a final sketch which would serve as my roadmap to the finished illustration. I like to stay fairly close to this sketch, but as the painting progresses, I'm always open to changing anything if I think it would serve the final illustration better. In this case, I went back and forth on the face of the character before finally settling on a particular look. I also moved the sheath's dagger, as it wasn't really working where it was in the sketch, and I think the new position makes for a more interesting silhouette. Finally, I added some custom designs to the daggers, sword, belts, tunic, and pauldrons. With this sample illustration, I wanted to incorporate all the things that I imagine magic is looking for in a card illustration. Saying that, I also wanted to put my stamp on it and not simply blend in with a lot of their current roster of artists. With that in mind, I've added textural brush strokes and effects so as to give the painting a more traditional feel rather than going for a perfect airbrush-like rendering, which I've never been a huge fan of. I'll be sending in this sample illustration for consideration, and in the meantime, it's time to get started on the next sample. Hope this was helpful and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Have a good one and keep on painting.